Sorry, but I didn't get enough sleep tonight, and I think I need to drink some tea or coffee. And that will fix this problem. <sighs> I will drink, and instantly it will be totally okay. Like... <sighs> yes, in this video we are going to talk about caffeine. It's a very neglected topic because we actually don't think about it as a drug. But we need to know that it's stimulant and it's working for our nervous system and it stresses our body by adrenaline and cortisol. This substance helps us to stay awake when we are tired and when we drink either coffee or tea, we can remain fully awake for longer periods of time and we can increase our attention span. But we don't see bad sides of this. So when we are after coffee or tea, we feel energized and exuberant and you know we have motivation to do anything. It's not like that always, but usually. But we don't realize that this is not our natural energy. This energy is fully derived from caffeine, so we become dependent on this substance and we actually don't realize that it becomes our addiction. Because you know, if 90% of people are doing this, it means that it's utterly normal, but it's not truth. We are usually comparing ourselves to others to see whether what we are doing is good or not. If nobody is doing what we are doing, we very often consider it as strange. But we need to realize that usually most of people are doing very bad things for their health, but they are not conscious enough to realize it and they are hurting themselves on a regular basis. There are many ways to boost your energy naturally without taking any substances or just by eating healthy, by maintaining a healthy diet. If you want to get more energy, there are multiple ways of doing this. For example, if you want to get more energy totally for free, you can just, when you're going and you need to shower yourself, you can go under cold water and it's a better solution than hot. But hot also has its benefits, but when you're taking cold showers, it gives you a lot of energy and you know, it has a lot, a lot of healthy benefits for you. Not only for physical, but in this way you're also extending your comfort zone and later you're much comfortable when you're doing unusual situations and you're experiencing new things with more courage. If you are interested in spiritual or personal growth, you exactly know that our habits are very, very important. And we, when we are on this path of, you know, growth, self-development, self-actualization, etc., we are taking care of our, you know, thinking habits, you know, we take care of meditation, etc., but we usually neglect the topic of what we are eating and we are not conscious of it. So now you know that caffeine is stimulant and you should not abuse it and even you shouldn't use it on a daily basis. You should use it only when you really need it and when you're meeting with friends on a special occasion or something like that. But it shouldn't be your source of energy. When you drink caffeinated beverage, in your brain, dopamine, adrenaline, noradrenaline and you know cortisol in your body increases and that causes you to be more awake. But in long term, it's like basic on stress in your body, like you're turning on a reaction of flight, fright on response, and therefore you are more awake and you know you know what is going on. But is it really necessary for you to live normally? You can live without it, without stressing, and you can rely basically on happiness, on joy, and you know natural motivation to life. You don't need to stimulate yourself by artificial substances. If you have any addictions and dependencies, your self-growth and spiritual growth is much, much slower. So basically, I would like just to tell you that you need to be conscious of what you are doing consciously and what you are doing compulsively. Because, you know, habit of drinking coffee or tea is usually compulsive and not conscious. We are doing just it to boost our energy and to, you know, to not feel drowsy. But you need to remember that you should get rid of all negative habits in order to increase your growth and in order to transform yourself as a person. The best things for us to drink is to first water and second fresh squeezed vegetables or fruits. These two things are best for us and most natural. For also they are very beneficial for our energy, natural energy. 
So we need to take care of these things and avoid sparkling drinks, beverages, you know, coffee and tea, drink from time to time, and other things like alcohol are basically, they are also <laughs> very detrimental for us, but from time to time they won't hurt, okay? If you want to say, because a lot of people drink nowadays, and we can from time to time, okay? But we should not do it to quit reality, we need to remember it, okay? So remember that consciousness is the key and we should avoid doing things just compulsively because of our past and, you know, habits and, you know, some pleasure. We need to do things that will bring us closer to, you know, ourselves, we will give us happiness and real joy. Thank you for watching this video. Please, of course, leave some engagement because it's new channel and I want to get some reach because I think that it's necessary for me now. <laughs> Subscribe my channel and see you in next video. Bye bye!